Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create database columns which will be references for files stored in Backendless. To do this, I will switch to the data screen in my Backendless application and uh, I will create a simple table that will be called person. And uh, let me just create quickly create a schema for this table. So let's say that uh, a person will have a column called name and uh, there will also be a column uh, called uh, resume or let's call it resume link and uh, notice that the type for resume link is selected as file reference right here in the type drop down I select file reference click OK so now the resume link column will be of type file reference it means you will be able to store references to files uh, in that column if we go back to data browser, you'll see that uh, resume link is a file reference. So now we can create an object and reference a file. To prepare a file, I will switch to the files section. And uh, I also have a, a, a directory called resumes. The directory is empty, so we will upload a file. And here's a resume of a person. Uh, so now we have that PDF in the file storage. And let's create an object in the person table click new and the person's name is going to be Joe Backman the object is created and for the resume link column uh, backendless console recognizes that this is a file reference we can click this little icon right here the tooltip says select a file when you click it opens this pop-up where you can uh, select a file from the backendless file storage or you can enter file URL for a file that's uh, residing anywhere on the internet and is accessible through a URL. But since we already have a file in backendless file storage, we can just navigate to it, click on resumes, select that file and click add relation. Uh, backendless console automatically shows that link to the file. So you can click on it and then click on the file. It opens that resume. Uh, and if we go back to backendless console, Notice that if I switch to REST console and then run request against the person table, click get, then the resume link is the actual URL of the file that you have selected. And that's how it will return back to you, to your client application. So very straightforward process for uh, populating your database or selecting files. Of course, you can do exactly the same thing using the APIs. But in this video, um, uh, I focused on creating that column of the file reference type and then selecting a file from backendless file storage. So this is just one way to set up your database and have the file references in your objects. I hope you found it useful. Thank you. And as always, happy coding.